nasoma kitabu cha Samuel wa kwanza sura ya 16. Samuel verse 16. Msari wa 10 na 7 na ule wa 18. Chapter 16 verse 17 to 18. neno la Mungu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Basi Sauli akawaambia, "Vema, nitafutieni mtu aliye stadi wa kupiga kinubi mkaniletee." Ndipo akajibu mmoja wa watumishi wake akasema, "Tazama nimemuona mwana mmoja wa Yesu, Bethlehemu, aliye stadi wa kupiga kinubi, tena ni mtu shujaa, hodari wa vita, anenaye kwa busara, mtu mzuri ambaye Bwana yu pamoja naye. Amen. Nikisoma uh, watu mbalimbali kwenye Biblia. Ambao walikuwa wanaabudu, walikuwa wanasifu Mungu. Na vitu vikubwa vilikuwa vinafanyika kwenye maisha yao. Lakini leo tutakamata tu mfano wa Daudi. Na Daudi wakati alikuwa na sifu na kumwabudu Mungu vitu vingi vilikuwa vinafanyika. Lakini tutaangalia tu vitu viwili leo lakini ukisoma listi ya vitu ambavyo vinaweza Mungu anaweza katenda katika kusifu na kuabudu ni nyingi sana kama hata mambo 30 hivi anaweza kufanyika. But today we are going to talk about two things but if you read in full context you there you will find about over 30 things that God can do during praise and worship. Haleluya. Amen. Tumesoma Biblia hapo kwenye kitabu ya Samuel sura ya 16. We have read from 1 Samuel chapter 16. Ni wakati Mungu alikuwa anatuma mapepo wachafu kwenye eh, maisha ya, ya mfalme Sauli. That was the time that God was sending uh, evil spirits into the life of King Saul. Mapepo wachafu alikuwa anamsumbua kabisa ana, yani anaumwa. That demons were disturbing him and he was in pain. Sasa siku moja hivi akakaa na, na staff yake na washauri na madokta wake na watu wakubwa sana. Now one day he sat with his staff he sat with his advisors and his doctors and a lot of people. Wakawa waka wanasema sasa hii mapepo wachafu ambao Mungu ametuma ndani yako. Now they were still, they were talking saying that these evil spirits that the Lord has permitted to come into you. Ili ili wakuachie watoke ndani ya maisha yako. For these evil spirits to live. Ni lazima yani kupiga hapa muziki there is need for music to be played na hiyo music sio muziki yoyote now that music is not any kind of music ilikuwa nyimbo za kusifu na kuabudu Mungu it was songs of praise and worship wakati nimeangalia nimeangalia kwenye biblia nimetafakari na kufanya research nyingi sana when i looked through the bible and did a lot of research and meditation nikaja kuona kugundua kwamba kitu ambacho arme kubwa sana ya deliverance I got to discover that if there is one thing that is great in delivering ambayo wazi wazi kabisa ambayo ilisababisha kwamba mapepo yaachie maisha ya mtu that tool that made demons live someone's life there sio kila mtu ni mfalme mfalme not just anybody but the king ilikuwa sifa it was praise haleluya amen bwana sifiwe sana amen wakati wanaanza kuangalia sasa when they started looking through now kwamba nani mwenye atafanya hii kazi atatuliza hii mapepo ndani ya mfalme and they started wondering now who is it that will do this job that will chase this spirits from the miongoni mwa watumishi wa wa, ya, wa Sauli within uh, among the servants of Saul mmoja kati yao alikuwa anamjua Daudi one of them knew David nataka niseme point moja hapa kidogo tu i want to talk one point here briefly ya kwamba Mungu anakujua that god knows you sema amina Mungu anakujua God knows you. Mungu anakujua. God knows you. Na iko siku Mungu atakutambulisha utashangaa. And there is a day that he will make you know you will be surprised. Unaweza ukafanya vitu vingine havionekanaki. You may be doing other things that people don't recognize. Lakini iko siku tu moja Mungu atakutambulisha. But there is a day that God will make you recognize him. Mungu atakutambulisha kwa kiongozi mkubwa mmoja hivi ambaye hautaamini kama ni wewe. There is a day that God will make you known unto a big leader that even you will not even believe. Inawezekana umeshafanya mademande ya makazi mademande ma apply nataka niende soma kama Ulaya nataka niende na mimi umeshafanya research nyingi sana juu upate kitu fulani It is very possible that you have done a lot of research that you have uh, thrown a lot of applications you want to go abroad you want to do this and that Acha nikutabirie magharibi ya leo Now let me prophesy unto you this Ya kwamba sifa na kuabudu kwako
wako ipo siku utaona tu watakuita au utafanya nguvu yote watakuita tu kuja hapa neema kwa makofi na vigelegele kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Daudi David. Alikuwa kule anachunga kondoo wa baba yake. He was uh, taking care of his father's sheep. Hakuwa anajulikana na mtu yeyote. He was not known by anyone. Siku moja mtumishi wa Sauli alikuwa na Peter. Na one day one of the servants of Saul was passing by. Alikuwa na Peter. One of the servants was passing. Na wakati anapita, na when he was passing by. Daudi yeye iko anachunga kondoo, lakini pia katikati wakati anachunga kondoo alikuwa na sifu na kuabudu Mungu. David was rearing the sheep and while he was doing that he was praising and worshiping. Alikuwa anapiga gitaa yake, alikuwa anapiga kinubi yake kule shambani peke yake. He was playing his guitar, he was playing his instrument there in the in the grazing land on his own. Mtumishi wa Sauli akapita kimya, alipita tu iko sasa alikuwa kwenye gari yake, iko inawezekana alikuwa kwenye kwenye ndani Mercedes yake akasikia aka akasema mm. ukijana umsili mkuta kule kwenye alikuwa Now the servant of Saul was passing him I thought been in his car he was in his Mercedes Benz and he heard his voice Al- Akapita kimya kimya hakusema kitu chochote Now he passed and did not comment he didn't say anything Lakini ukisoma hapa namna ambavyo wakati anafika mbele ya mfalme But if you read here when he reached in front of when he reached before the king Iko iko anamshuhudia Daudi iko anamtemwanya Daudi anamuongelea Daudi He was testifying he was speaking about David Anasema kuna kijana mmoja hivi He said there is a particular boy I know. Ambaye ni shujaa. A boy that is courageous. Ambaye ni mzuri. A boy that is good. Ambaye anapenda Mungu. A boy that loves God. Ana kusema sifa za Daudi. Now he said talking about the praise of David. Ambaye inawezekana hata babake Daudi alikuwa hazijui. Things that maybe even the father of David did not know. About hata Samuel baba yake wa kiroho hakuwa anazijua. Things that maybe even his spiritual father did not know. Hata ndugu zake hawakuwa anazijua. Things that even his own brothers Lakini Roma mgusa ule ministre wa wa wa, wa Sauli akanot But the Holy Spirit touched that servant of Saul to Na akaenda kutemwanye mbele ya mfalme. And he went and testified before the king. Akasema huyu kijana anajua ku akifika hapa akipiga hapa mapepo yatakuachia. Say that that boy knows how to play that instrument if he does that these demons will leave. Mungu anajua namna ambavyo uko hapo. God knows that you are there. Uko jibu kwa mahitaji ya mtu fulani hapa duniani. You are an answer to someone's needs. Ah, sijui kama unanielewa vizuri. Sijui kama unanielewa. Nasema hivi uwewe I say that you Huko jibu ya maombi ya mtu ambaye ameshaomba miaka elfu You are an answer to the prayers of Wewe ndio umebeba hiyo jibu Wewe ndio umebeba hiyo jibu You are carrying that answer Wakaenda kumleta Daudi They went and brought David Nikusia kitu kingine hapa uh, Let me touch some other thing here Akasema kijana ambaye anajua kupiga kinubi He said He said that a music music He said that the uh, young man that knows how to play the instrument Yaani ni mwanamuziki mzuri sana That he is a good musician Unajua music ilianza mbinguni You know music started from heaven Shetani aliiba tu The devil just stole Yaani hata music profane iivume namna gani lakini wanaibaga tu lakini ilianza mbinguni Irrespective of how music may go around it was Musician wa kwanza ambaye anaandikwa kwenye Biblia ni Daudi The biggest musician that is talked about in the Bible is David. Ambaye Biblia inasema anapiga vizuri sana. The Bible says that he played the instrument perfectly. Nisema hivi wakati tunaimbia Mungu kanisani. Let me say this when we sing for God in church. Tujitahidi sana kufanya vitu vizuri. Let us make sure that we do good things. Kuimbia Mungu kuwa kuwa mwimbaji wa kanisani being a singer in church. Haimaanishi tu kwamba unaimba tu, unaimba tu, yani unaimba tu sababu unaimba. That you just singing for the sake of singing. But make sure that you sing well. Fanya research ukue mwimbaji mkubwa. Do the best do do research do the best practice and be a Yaani watu wengine waseme kwamba fulani anaimba vizuri dada fulani anaimbaga vizuri Other people may testify and say sister so and so sings well Waseme kwamba pale Maranata kuna wamisisia wazuri That they should say that they Maranata they are very good singers Hiyo ndio mapenzi ya Mungu wakati tuko hapa tunapiga louange adoration That is the will of God that when we are here we are praising and worshiping Lazima tuiandae that we prepare tuiandae tunajua kwamba kesho tutaimba hivi 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 that we prepare in knowing that to and know that we know that tomorrow we shall sing pamoja na upako wa roho mtakatifu together with the anointing of the holy spirit utaona na Mungu atafanya mambo makubwa you will see how god shall do great things amen amen amen
Biblia inasema Daudi alianza kuenda kwenye nyumba ya, ya, ya mfalme Sauli. So the Bible says that David now went to the Na wakati Daudi anaanza kupinga kinubi, anaanza kupinga kinanda. Now when he started playing the instrument when he started playing. Mapepo ilikuwa inaachia Israeli. Demons were letting go of Saul. Mungu anataka ya kwamba wakati tunapoimba hapa kanisani. God wants that when we sing. Wakati tunapomsifu. That as we pray. Wakati tunamuinua. That as we lift him on high. Mtu yeyote ambaye aliingia mgonjwa apate uponyaji kwa kusifu tu. Bila hata kuomba lazima unaingia hapa mgonjwa utoke umepona. Kama utasifu katika roho na kweli. Haijalishi ni magonjwa ya namna gani. It's not uh, it doesn't it doesn't matter which it doesn't matter for how long you have had that sickness. Ya Your prayer and worship there is power of healing. But it also, it also depends on how you have come in the presence. Bible says that one day Jesus Christ was going through a city. Mtu mmoja mwenye ukoma, mtu mwa wenye magonjwa ya ukoma that one person that had leprosy huyu mtu mtu mwenye ukoma wakati wa zamani hakuwa na haki ya kuenda katikati ya watu lakini huyu mtu sijui alitumia njia gani ili afike katikati ya watu sababu Yesu alikuwa anafuatwa na makutano makubwa sana na Biblia inasema alipofika mbele za Yesu akapiga magoti mbele zake akamsujudia na ishara na, na kupiga magoti au kusujudia now to kneel or to bow inamaanisha kuabudu it means worship kwa namna nyingine alimwabudu Yesu in other words he worshiped alimwabudu Yesu akasema Yesu hata kama mimi nina ukoma in other words he worshiped Jesus and said even if i have lakini najua wewe ndio bwana i know that you are hata kama ni hata kama watu wananitupa even if people are thrown najua Yesu wewe unaweza kunikumbatia i know that you alone najua watu wakinikataa i know that even if Yesu wewe unaweza kunikubali akamwabudu Mungu kwa moyo wake wote. Akamwabudu Mungu kwa nafsi yake yote. Baada ya kumwabudu Mungu, akasema Yesu ukitaka, unaweza kuniponya. Na Yesu akamwambia nataka. Pale pale Yesu akamwambia umetakasika huko huko. Huyo mtu akawa na ngozi laini kama ya baby. Sababu gani alimwabudu Mungu? Katika kumwabudu Mungu kuna nguvu ya uponyaji. Kuna nguvu ya uponyaji katika kumsifu Mungu. Kuna nguvu ya uponyaji katika kumwabudu Mungu. Haleluya. Nimesema kitu cha kwanza kuna deliverance mapepo hayawezi kukaa sehemu ambao kuna worship na praise. I've said that the first thing there is deliverance. Demons can not sit in a place where there is praise and worship. Mapepo ilikuwa inaachia Sauli wakati tu Daudi anapiga praise and worship. Demons were letting go of Saul the moment David was praising and worship. Na jambo lingine nguvu ya uponyaji iko katika kusifu na kuabudu. The second thing there is healing power in praise and worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kuna magonjwa kwenye familia yako? There are there may be a sickness in your family. Kuna magonjwa kwenye nyumba yako? Sickness in your home kuwa tu katika roho ya kumwabudu na kumsifu Mungu hata kama haukuomba utaona Mungu ataachilia uponyaji katika jina la Yesu iwe sehemu yako amen kusifu na kuabudu inaleta ushindi ushindi hata kwa ajili ya maisha ya kesho even in even in your in your future inakupatia espoir ya kwamba kesho yangu itakuwa bora kuliko leo tunakuwa tunakata tamaa ya maisha we lose hope in life tunaishi tukihuzunika sababu ya kesho and then we live in a lot of sorrow because of tomorrow sababu gani tunakuwa tunasahau vile ambavyo Mungu alitutendea jana because we always forget that which God did yesterday ukisahau kile ambacho Mungu alikutendea jana if you forgot if you forget that which he did yesterday hautaamini kwamba kesho anaweza kutendea you will not believe that he will do better tomorrow siku moja Daudi anafika 
mbele za mfalme wakati anaenda kuangalia ndugu zake kwenye shamba la vita. One time David reached before the king when he had gone to see his brother. Ana anakuta Goliath anatukana jeshi la Israeli. And he found Goliath throwing insults at the army of Israel. Akasema yeye anataka kupigana na Goliath. And he said he wanted to battle Goliath. Wakati Daudi anafika mbele za mfalme. Now when the, when David reached before the king. Mfalme anaanza kumwambia wewe hauna nguvu ya kupigana na huyu huyu ni shujaa mkubwa sana. The king said that you do not have the power to fight that one is a great soldier. Daudi akamwambia mfalme. Now David told the king. Mimi kule shambani porini kule. That, the, that where I rear from. Nilikuwa napigana na simba na dubu na nilikuwa nawaua. That I was fighting lions and wolves and I was killing them. Akasema ninaamini kwamba Mungu aliyeniokoa kule shambani. He said that I believe that the Lord that saved me there. Mungu aliyenishindia. That the Lord that gave me victory. Mungu alienipa nguvu. That the Lord that gave me atanishindia hata huyu Goliath. He shall help me defeat this. Hallelujah. Amen. Nasema na wewe. I'm speaking to you. Mpaka umefika ile aje yako uko nayo pale. Mungu amekushindia mambo mengi sana. Uliumwa Mungu alikuponya. Ulisafiri Mungu alikulinda ukafika salama. Ulipata aksida Mungu akaruhusu akuruhusu kwamba uumie ufie pale. Ulilala njaa lakini haukufa na njaa. Walikuchukia lakini Mungu akakukumbatia. Walikufukuza lakini Mungu akakupokea. Mambo mengi sana sana sana. Hauwezi kuhesabu maneno ambayo Mungu amekutendea. Yule aliyekutendea mambo mengi tangu kuzaliwa kwako. Anaweza kukutendea hata mengi sana. Daudi alijua kwamba mimi nina sifu Mungu na kumwabudu kila siku. Inafanya Mungu alinitendea mengi alikuwa ananishindia vita ya simba. Hata ya huyu Goliath Mungu atanishindia. Na wewe ninasema na wewe katika kusifu na kuabudu kwako. Mungu atakushindia vita vyako vya maisha. Mungu atakushindia vita vyako vya kazini. Mungu atakushindia vita vyako vya dosie. Mungu atakushindia vita vyako vya masomo. Mungu atakupatia haja ya moyo wako. Aliyekulinda jana, aliyepatia wazazi wako nguvu ya kukutunza. Huyo Mungu hajabadilika. Aliyekuokoa kama alivyookoa Daudi. Ni yule Mungu nakuhubiria magharibi ya leo. Ya kwamba katika kusifu kwako na kuabudu atakutendea mengi kwa jina la Yesu. Atakupa vingi sana. Atakupa pesa ambazo hujawahi kuvusa. Atakupa ndoa dada yangu. Atakupa ndoa kaka yangu. Atakupa biashara yako. Atakupeleka mbali katika huduma yako. Atakutendea mambo mengi. Pigia Yesu kelele ya kuiamini imani. Seke derebe seke. Yesu atakutendea mengi. Aliyekutendea mpaka sasa atatenda zaidi ya alivyotenda. Daudi alikuwa na ile ujasiri. David had that courage. Alikuwa na ile imani. He had that faith. Aliposhuka kupigana na Goliath. When he came when he went now to fight. Hakufanya vitu vingi. He didn't do a lot. Alienda na roho ya kumsifu Mungu. He went with a heart. Goliath alikuja na mapanga. Goliath came with power. Alikuja na maroketi. He came with rockets. Alikuja na silaha zote. He came with all forms of weapons. Lakini Daudi alikuja tu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Alikuja na mwingia Yesu anasema Yesu. Wewe uliyovusha bahari ya Shamu wana wa Israeli. Utanivusha hata kwenye hii bahari ya Goliati. Alikuja tu na jina la Yesu. Alikuja na sifa za Mungu mwani wake. Alipiga tu bajiwe kamoja tu kamoja tu. Kamoja tu. Sema kamoja tu. Siku moja tu. Dakika moja tu. Wiki moja tu. Itatokea mwaka moja tu. Goliati Mungu ataanguka chini kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Siku moja tu. 
utapata kitu ambacho umetafuta kwa muda mrefu. You get that which you have been looking for for a long time. Hallelujah. Amen. Ni nguvu ya sifa na maabudu. The power of praise and worship. Inakupatia receipt ya maisha. It gives you a receipt of life. Inakupatia receipt katika kila kitu. It gives you receipts in everything.